Have you ever wanted to do DMR, YSF, D-Star, P25, or other modes over your Sherry node or any other All-Star Link RF node using a Raspberry Pi with an analog radio just like this? Well, I can show you how to do that. Kilo Zero, November, November, Kilo, testing DMR, Brandmeister, Parrot. So that was over the actual DMR Brandmeister network. And for further proof, let's select uh, YSF really quickly. Setting to YSF. We'll change it to Parrot. And you can tell that the audio is slightly different. Do that while I mute it. And let's transmit. Kilo zero, November, November, Kilo testing, Parrot. Kilo zero, November, November, Kilo testing, Parrot. Yeah, sounds a little bit different, right? Okay. Well, I'll show you that here on the computer. Okay, well, I assume you already have your ham VoIP node up and running because your this tutorial is with ham VoIP. I do not have an all-strolling tutorial for you. You're going to have to figure out on yourself by yourself. Feel free to use Google. Awesome tool. Um, you'll be. You'll have to. I believe you'll have to manually install um, the DB switch stuff. So in this video, we're going to be using uh, analog reflector and then the regular DB switch server stuff. So we're going to go ahead and open uh, Ham Radio Crusaders little documentation. I'm only going to use part of it, but I will link it in the description. So what I want to do is I want to run these commands. So what you want to do is you want to uh, run this bash curl uh, right here. So we'll just run that, and it'll start uh, compiling and getting everything ready. So you just follow the instructions that it does. I already have it installed, so I'm going to kit. So I'm going to cancel that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to reboot, so you just want to type in reboot, and you're going to reboot your notice. So you should have done rebooting, type in DBS. Uh, you're going to hit initial configuration, so you're going to hit that. You're going to hit yes, so you put in your call sign, you put in your DMR ID, you put in your DMR ID with uh, two extra digits, anywhere from 0 to 99. You're going to put in install mo module, use B, whichever is default, and XDN, put that in if you have one. If you do not have one, that's fine. You don't have to use it. A USRP port, put in port 50,000. We're not going to use the default port. We are going to want port 50,000. Okay, you're going to select your Brandmeister server, minus 31103. You want to put in your password. Um, and then you're going to hit no hardware vocoder, do software. Yes to continue, let it configure, and then you will. Um, reboot one more time just and just to get everything working. You'll exit that, you'll do reboot, and you'll let it reboot and you go back. So now what we're going to need to do is configure analog reflector. So we're going to go CD slash opt, and then we are going to CD into analog reflector. I'm going to nano analog reflector dot JSON. And then we're going to uh, use these details. So put in your DMR ID here. Put in your, make sure that uh, the address is 127.0.0.1. Um, under USRP port, put that. Uh, for TX and RX, uh, put 5,000. Uh, feel free to ignore everything else. We'll mess with ASL in a little bit. But just know, uh, leave ASL blank. Um, or just leave everything with ASL default. Um, if you do have AMI set up on your, your manager.com uh, password, uh, put that in here, but we're, we are going to have to change that in a second. So I'm going to save that, which I have everything that I need, so I don't need to. So you want to CD into AR root, and then users. Or I'm sorry, we're going to CD into, CD into SSL. We are going to LS, and you see there's an M. Uh, k search sh. So we're going to run that mkcerts.sh file. It's going to generate this uh, certificate. I already did that, but you'll just let, let that run. So after that, we're going to go ahead and go into manager.com. 
Google.com. Or no, we're going to go into um, the asterisk folder, then we're going to nano manager.com. So under here, um, it's going to be secret and it's going to have like LLCGI. Just remove the LLCGI and put in whatever your secret password was before. Assuming you're running Supermon or something like that, so you will need that. And then you'll put in that password into your all star ASL listing that is on your thing. So now we're going to nano and we're going to go into rpt.com. So in here you're going to scroll down, 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 all the way until you get into um, startup. So for startup we're going to put in a special thing. Okay, so startup macro, put in star 31999. Uh, start through one on that. We're going to scroll down until we see 199 brackets right here. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to go in between simple USB, USB 2, and the Hadi Pseudo. So we're going to go open the DV switch handboy. We're going to scroll down until we see all the way. Until we see what the problem note is. So right here. So you want to add it before this line, or you want to add it after this line, but before this line. So in between those two lines. So what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this, and you're going to paste it right here. I already have mine right here, so that's good to go. Then you're going to have to scroll. If you're using a different port number that's other than four, five, six, nine, you're going to have to scroll down all the way to the bottom of your rpt.com file until it shows your nodes listing. So in your nodes listing, you're going to have to scroll down, and you're going to have to go, and all the way at the bottom, you're going to have to put in your port, and then whatever port number. I changed my port number to 4570, so you're just going to have to put in a colon, 4570. So you'll want to control O, enter, and exit. Um, once you have that saved, you're going to restart asterisk with a command asterisk.sh. A S T R E S dot S H, and it's going to restart the asterisk. Now we're going to go back into analog reflector and we're going to get that set up. So, what we're going to do, and this is on the DB switch documentation, which I try to find here. Um, you're going to go here and you're going to create a user. So, this is going to be your user. What you're going to do. So you want to hit 11, this is going to be your password goes here. Um, so what you want to do is once you're in the analog reflector directory, you're going to be using analog reflector, you're going to be creating a user, and then you're going to put in your call sign, so your call sign, your call sign here, you're going to put in DMR ID, and then you're going to do its DMR ID with the extra two digits, your password, and then 11. So what 11 allows you to do is change stuff, which will make you sysop. So we'll just remove all this stuff here, but you'll just hit that, and it'll create the user for you. And just in case that doesn't make you a sysop, just go uh, CD into AMR root, and then into users. Uh, you're going to nano the, your user and you'll put under rights and you'll make that 11. So we'll exit out of there. Um, let's nano analog reflector. Okay, so you have your analog bridge and your uh, MMD bridge running. So, and I believe you got your ASL running. So make sure that the ports are set correctly. Um, put in your AMI username as admin, put it as whatever your AMI secret is, I'll change mine later, um, and then you'll save that, and then this is what you want to do, you want to system CTA, system CTL and enable analog reflector, and then after that you're just going to use your up arrow, and then uh, to get that up, and then you're going to do start analog reflector. 
what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to HTTPS colon black hole uh, uh, those thingies there and then you're going to need to go and you're going to type in the IP address of that Sherry node that's running the analog reflector software. In this case it is 42. You want to do colon 443. Hit enter. It's going to ask you for a certificate. You, you're going to hit advanced and then proceed and you're going to hit this audio marker. It's going to ask for your username and password just as you said earlier. Mine's already set so I don't have to worry about that. It just automatically takes from there. Um, so to test this what you're going to do is you're going to select your DMR under here, you want to select disconnect, and you're going to hit connect. And once you do that, it'll say not linked. And then you can, as if you do, if you do that, then you know it's working. Uh, to get all star to work, what you're going to do is you're going to uncheck the mute under all star node. You're going to uncheck that so it is not muted. So um, let me grab my radio here. Welcome. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Parrot Connect, and it should connect us to Parrot. Yep, it did. Okay, so now we're going to test it. Kilo zero November November kilo testing Parrot. I want to mute that really quick because I don't want to hear that. Kilo zero November November kilo testing Parrot. There you go. DMR just went over here and the video should be all set. So I believe this was everything I covered. If something is incorrect, let me know in the description. I will hopefully be partnering with Ham Radio Crusader on getting something written up for instructions. Hopefully he's going to make a YouTube video about this. I have no idea. I haven't even messaged him, so that's not even uh, something that might not not even happen but that's what i'm going to guess on because i want as many people know about this because what what you just made essentially was a clear node device that was free so you took your already existing sherry all-star node and you added clear node features to it so every time you want to change a talk group you just go into this website you change what mode you want and you change what talk group if you want to do if you want to change talk groups you just go us uh, go back into there and you want to see the AR root at Ellis you'll see there's modes so you'll see the into modes there you go and then those are your lists so if you want to edit something you do DMR node list.json I think this is correct and there you go those are all your default talk groups um, right here so, so if you want to change something you just highlight the one you copy it you make sure the JSON is correct because you have to be careful with the comma and everything and it's, make sure it's all correctly syntaxed and then you just copy this you'll put in the ID of the talk group and then the name of it and then you can go here you can also hit this little TG dot button and I'm sure you can do this so I'm going to do it with my demo ID connect and it should connect to my DMR ID, let me double check. Kilo zero, November, November, kilo test. Yeah, I, I believe it worked. So, yeah, that is how you get uh, digital modes over your all star radio. I'm sure you can do this over hub nodes too if you really wanted to. But at the same time, I don't see the point of doing that unless you have a hub node connected to Echolink and you wanted to use Echolink over digital modes, if that makes any sense. So, it's a good video. We'll see you on in the next one.